Comedian and host of the Food Network's Ginormous Foods had some pretty interesting things to say on Twitter about being persecuted as a straight white male. So I don't want to put words in his mouth. I'll have you I'll have you guys read his tweets along with me. In one of those tweets, he wrote the following: Straight white male has become this century's N-word. It's used to offend and diminish the recipient based on assumption and bias. No difference in the usage. No difference in the usage. None. Okay. Um, well, I mean, like, we have to really point all this stuff out, but apparently we do, and then they'll claim we started it. No, this guy started it. And uh, that's the N-word is what they would use before lynchings, for example, uh, and during slavery. I don't remember the last time Josh Denny was enslaved, uh, and luckily no one's done any violence to him or split up his family or raped his wife, which would happen often during slavery. But probably the same thing. I mean, he has a television show, but he's slightly bothered when other people use the word straight white male. Oh, I see. So let's uh, read a little bit more. Uh, my point is, when you call someone uh, this in conversation, you know exactly what you're doing, attempting to devalue their point of view based on negative cultural stereotypes. That's racism. So, all right, his first tweet was so over the top. I mean, comparing straight white male to the N-word is crazy. That it, it took away any legitimate point he might have in following tweets. Because look, I have seen this and, and I do think that it's unfair. Sometimes there'll be a straight white guy who's trying to make a point about something and sometimes he will get dismissed simply because he's a straight white guy. I don't think that's fair. But to say that oh, we're being persecuted, this is racism, it's the equivalent of what black people have gone through, you immediately lose any legitimacy in any argument you're trying to make. So I want to be clear. I don't think you should be fired. I look. No, I think that yeah, and I know that there'll be calls for that, etc. Right? And look, people don't know how to start these conversations, and sometimes they make terrible mistakes, which I think Josh made in this case. Right? And I don't know the guy from Adam, but if we basically do career death penalty for these missteps, then everybody will be afraid to have the conversation, and we'll never even get to discuss these things. And so people maybe they didn't know the horrors of slavery. I mean, we we don't teach the true horrors of it, because some things like the thing I mentioned about rape is so uncomfortable, we leave it out of our history books. Also, you know, you read about lynchings in history books, but you don't really read about lynchings. I don't think most people have ever learned about, you know, just how gruesome those lynchings were. They used to have picnics around it and take parts of the burnt body as souvenirs. So, and I could, if that's by the way, that's not all the gory details. So, okay, so we're learning through this process, okay? And I, so, and then I actually thought his friend Ian Carmel, he kind of looked for help by saying, included him in one of the tweets and says, where someone says, shut up, SWM, that's wrong. And that is wrong to say that, right? But he, Ian Carmel actually, in my opinion, had the best response. He said, well, to be fair, you've kind of kicked a hornet's nest today by employing hyperbole so grandiose. That it completely obscures any point you may have been attempting to make. You being told to shut up is not the same as straight white men's opinions not mattering. And that's another great point there at the end. The other people get to say shut up to you, that's also part of freedom of speech, right? Nobody's actually shutting you up, nobody's, the government's not locking you up, and you're not getting killed, you're not getting attacked, none of that stuff is happening. But guys, also don't attack him for that. You just let's, let's have, have a, a dialogue. conversation, yes. right? And so I hope that this is, could lead to something productive, but it hasn't yet. Two easy ways to follow the Young Turks. One is hit the subscribe button down below, uh, then you're a TYT subscriber. And second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.